What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how you can clear initialized text in text boxes and also clear and reset text boxes in your C Sharp application. So as you can see behind me here, I have Visual Studio open up. We're going to build a simple Windows Forms app and we're just going to drag and drop a couple of text boxes and two buttons. And like I said, what we're gonna do is on click, you're gonna be able to clear those initialized texts in the boxes. And we're gonna make a button too that will reset the form. So this is perfect for login screens, um, stuff in that nature. So I'm gonna put together a quick interface and then I'll show you the code. Let's get started. So I got my interface built up as you can see. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of design inspiration. Didn't want to go too crazy on it, but um, yeah, so we just chose like a simple abstract wallpaper, um, you know, a little bit of text, just something to add to it. And um, this is the important part for this video. We have, there is a text box here. I didn't make it visible, kind of part of the design, but there's one here and there's one here. These two, um, it was kind of hard to tell in the time lapse, these lines here for just some design ideas. Um, they're just simple panels and they're the height's real small on them. So they're almost just like little bars that the text box can rest on. Kind of give it that floating look. And the reset and login button. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the debugger. And I haven't gotten into any of the code yet. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and name our text boxes and our buttons. I always like to do that first before I dig into the form. So let's see, we'll go properties. Well, I see the text, so we'll at least put the text in. So what we're gonna do is uh, username. And as you can see, that appeared. And we're gonna do same thing for the next one. Pass. Yeah. 2019, it appeared to be down low. So I'm gonna username. So I'm gonna do actually text box. I'll keep that. And I'm gonna put username. Definitely good to get in the habit of doing that first before you start um, getting into the code. Because if you were to double click this and it opens up and it's going to have the name textbox1 and then if you go to change that later, it, you're going to have some issues because the name's been changed. And even if you change it in the properties, you'll probably still have some issues. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click this form and that will get us into the code. Um, so I don't want to speak in terms of, you know, this is, you know, just a beginner or advanced video. It's kind of general. I'm going to go on some beginner stuff. And, but um, this is going to open up um, form one, which is just, this is the main form. So let's just go ahead and we'll go back to the design. I'm going to click on the first text box. That'll open up the code to that text box. Click the password one. This is where we'll write the code for the password. Uh, reset. And login. Okay, perfect. So we have all of our components there. So now, let's dive into the code a little bit. So what we need to do is when we run this right now, we're going to run into a little issue, which a lot of times in design we don't think about. But as you see, when I click on these, they don't go away. In fact, I have to backspace to clear them. And that's an issue. I mean, you definitely don't want that going on in your application. So what we're going to do is, this is like known as initializer text. 
So as you saw down here in our properties, we typed in the initialized text. So we're gonna go ahead and do like a clear on click. What we're gonna do is um, select username first and click on this little events lightning bolt. And up here, find click, double click it. And this is gonna create a click event. And we're gonna type in text box username IntelliSense is helping us out a good bit and you're gonna do dot text equals and just some quotes and a semicolon so on click what this is gonna do is it's gonna clear it on click and we are saying text box dot or uh, yeah text box username dot text is an empty string on this click method right here so on click it'll clear itself out so we're gonna need to do that for the password as well so we're gonna select our password go up to the click event double click it and so this is gonna be text box text box password up there in IntelliSense text equals quotes alrighty so let's see if that works we'll go ahead and run it so now as you can see on click they clear So our initialized text is cleared out. So that's good. Um, now we want to give some functionality. Um, a reset form, if we're going to reset our application, click reset. This isn't super common on login screens like obviously your Facebook login screen. I don't believe it has a reset button or anything like that. This is more if you were to do like a say like a kiosk system in like an office where people sign in if they mistype something or put in some wrong information or they start type filling it out and then they leave or something it's always good to have a reset button there because then it can just revert back to this default text so that's what we're going to do next so we're going to call the name so text Same thing for your password field. Text box oh, password dot text equals password. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and run that. See what happens. So when somebody goes to sign in click the first field type in their name Bob type in their password whatever and now let's click the reset button and see what happens as you can see it reverted back to our initialized text that's just a quick try to make it a quick video guys it might seem overly simple but um sometimes you know when you, we get into designing stuff we forget some of this stuff and when I was looking at this I had a hard time finding on click how to clear some of this stuff so hope this vid video helped you guys out um, yeah feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to them thanks for watching